Hello students. In this video, we are going to learn about pseudo and MOS logic style. Pseudo and MOS. What is it? Usually in your normal NMOS logic style, we will be having a pull down network and a NMOS with its gate connected to your source terminal as your load. What is it? We'll be having a pull down network and an NMOS device in the place of your pull up network will be having a NMOS with its gate connected to your source. That is normal NMOS logic style. But what is the pseudo NMOS style? In your pseudo NMOS style, we will be having a pull down network and in the place of your NMOS with your gate connected to your source, we will be replacing it with a grounded PMOS. What is it? The gate of your PMOS will be connected to ground. That is grounded PMOS followed by your PDN will give you the pseudo NMOS logic style. That is false NMOS logic style. Because in NMOS, we will be having only NMOS structure or the NMOS fits both in your pull down network or in the place of your pull up network. Whereas in your pseudo, that is, it's a false version of your NMOS logic style, here we will be having a gate that will be connected to ground. And when compared with your static logic style and your dynamic logic style, we have only reduced number of transistors. Why? Because we have only a pull down network and we don't have pull up network. In the place of pull up network, we have a grounded PMOS. So only single transistor is there on the top position and a PDN will be there on the bottom. So a PDN will be there on the bottom. Now, this is the circuit of pseudo NMOS circuit. What is it? This is pseudo NMOS. In pseudo NMOS, what is happening? I said that we have only pull down network, which is on the bottom side. What is there in the place of your pull up network? We have only a single PMOS with its gate connected to ground, which means I am by default feeding zero to my PMOS. If I give 0 to my P MOSFET, what will happen? Whether that my MOSFET will turn on or off. If I give 0 to my P MOSFET, my device will turn on. If my device is turning on, means that particular switch is shorter and there is a direct connection from your VDD towards your output. So your output will always stay in the high voltage of VDD. Right? So by default in pseudo NMOS, my output is VDD. Now see the working principle of your pseudo NMOS. What is pseudo NMOS? We have a PMOS structure on the top with its gate connected to ground and the pull down network as usual that we used in static CMOS. Now give input as one. If I give input as one, what is happening to my pull down network? My pull down network is turned on because pull down network is made up of N MOSFETs. Of course, if I give if I give one to pull down network, what is happening? My N MOSFETs are turned on. If all your inputs are such a way, my pull down network is turned on. Is there is a way for my output to discharge to ground? Yes, because my PDN is on and the switch is shorter and your output will discharge to ground. Right? Now, you see, my output is going to discharge to ground. So, there is a connection between your output to ground. And is there a connection in the top part? That is the grounded PMOS part? Yes, because by default it is connected to ground. So, the PMOS is itself on and now I'm feeding my input in such a way my PDN is also on. So both my grounded PMOS and your PDN is turned on. So what is happening? Whatever voltage is there in your supply is being discharged directly towards ground. 
So there is high power dissipation, static power dissipation in your pseudo N MOS because my P MOS is already grounded for whatever the condition of your inputs. If I give my input as zero, I'm checking for the other variation. So if my input is zero, but still there is a connection from your VDD to output. Now, my thing is I'm checking whether my output is going to discharge or going to stay in mode. How can I check? By changing my input. I am giving my input to zero. My zero is given to the N MOSFET. When I feed zero to N MOSFET, my device is going to turn off. So my PDN network is turned off. If my PDN network is turned off, it is open circuited. So there is no path or no way for my output to discharge towards ground. Right? So this is how my pseudo NMOS is going to work. So if I feed input is one, high amount of static power dissipation is going to happen. And if my input is zero, my output will stay my output will stay in the high voltage of VDD. And one more thing that we must keep in mind, this is most important, it's highly important. What is it? What I have written, type, expression, connection, PDN, PUN, PDN, PUN, expression is AB, it is nothing but I have mentioned that expression is if it is and if my boolean expression is or how connection series parallel parallel series what is it my pull down network or pull up network will be having various mosfets how the mosfets has to be connected if my expression is or or if my expression is and how my MOSFETs has to be connected, whether the MOSFETs has to be connected in a series manner or in parallel manner, right? This is what is given in this table. Now see A dot B. For your understanding purpose, it is nothing but it is an AND gate. If my expression is AND, I'm going to draw a CMOS circuit. It can be a static CMOS or it can be a dynamic CMOS or it can be any CMOS. But for a static CMOS, you will be having both your pull up network and your pull down network. And if my expression is OR gate, it is A plus B. If it is A plus B, how I will place my MOSFETs? For your pull down network, and if my expression is A dot B, See the first one, if my type is pull down network and my expression is A dot B, which is AND gate, I will just place the transistors in series. So if it is AND, my transistors or my MOSFETs will be connected in series in a pull down network. What is happening to pull up network? They, are both, both, they, they both are mutually exclusive. So they are complement to each other. So if it is a series connection on the pull down network, that must be a parallel connection on the pull up network. And now, if my expression or the Boolean function is OR type, if it is OR type, my transistors or my MOSFETs, which has to be placed in the pull down network must be in parallel. For your pull up network, the transistors has to be connected in series because already the pull down network has been connected in parallel manner. This one is also important if you want to design a circuit in VLSI. Already we learned one table in our previous video. What was that? If I give zero or one to my NMOS or PMOS, what will happen? So now here, in this video, we just learned what is meant by pseudo NMOS. What is that pseudo NMOS? Grounded PMOS followed by a PDL. By default, my output will be given to the high voltage. And the output will be discharged to ground only if my pull down network is on. If else, output will stay in the pre value. And an important concept also we learned along with the pseudo NMOS, which is how to connect your MOSFETs in your pull-up network and pull-down network without knowing this 
table, it's highly impossible to draw or to decide a CMOS logic style, right? So in next video, we will learn about domino logic. Thank you.